job in there. Stress and mess. In there. And if it's a problem you got, just keep your head up. Today's a new day. Tomorrow's a new day. To and tomorrow is also a new day. But always remember, don't live in the future. Live in the present. Because the more you live in the future, the more you kill your expectations of your reality. Because say you want to do something, right? Say you have plans for the future and these things don't work out. When the future comes, the, your plans didn't work out. <laughs> That's why it's best not to ponder on the past or ponder on the future, but ponder on the now. Because when you live in the now, you're more connected and you're more in tune and focused with what is now. What you looking at, man? Jake Trevin. <laughs> this dog is always following me everywhere I go, bro. Everywhere I go. If I gotta go to the bathroom to oh. do my... What? What happened? You think I'm gonna give you... I'm not giving you food, man. This is my rice and bean... Uh-oh, here comes the other one. Yep, there she is. Yep, and she wants food. No, okay, okay. What are you doing? I'm not giving any of y'all food, so it's a lose lose. Mm -hmm. Let me think of what I should talk to you. Damn. Let me think of what I should talk to you guys today about. I got a good idea. I got a good video topic. It relates to me, and it may relate to a bunch of other people. If you know, you know. But we're, we're going to talk about why it is okay to be alone. Why is it okay to feel alone? Why it's okay to just be in your own company? You don't always gotta be up somebody's ass. Or, you know how it goes, man. Yeah, but if I think this is, I believe that if 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 you're somebody who can be alone in your own like company and in your own presence, I think you have a one up on. A bunch of people in society because if you like believe it or not there's a lot of people in the world <laughs> that can't be alone like these people can't sit in their own presence these people can't sit in their own silence like these people cannot be alone and it's it's really crazy because it's really worrying but at the same time it's like man, what can you do you know I mean shit Oh, yeah, like I was saying. Why it's okay to be alone is because if you're alone, you're more connected to what is source. Because when you're in the womb, you're alone, but you're not alone. You're connected to the veil of reality, and you're connected to what is nothingness, or I guess what is in terms of universal oneness, you know, universal divine oneness you're connected to these things both of them you're connected to the veil of reality and you're connected to divine oneness nothingness and i think that if someone knows how to be in their own presence and and, and live alone i truly Same think man. that that person is is way more powerful than what either they believe to be or what others believe them to be because you see people like some people may see somebody who's by themselves or someone who is you know quiet or always by themselves like i said and think that they're weird or or, or they think that um they think they're just overall weirdos you know or you got no friends you're weird like they think they're losers but in reality when time goes by and time goes by again the kids that were always weird are the ones that, in a way, take over, I guess. 
take over in the sense of, you know, like, we could talk about entrepreneur-wise or, or, you know, overall in life in general. Don't think that you're an out, like, if you're an outcast, you have a one-up on everybody else. Because you don't follow the same agenda that these people follow. You'll be surprised how many people follow this, like, cycle of life and follow this agenda of um, going to college after school or or trying really hard in school. And, and I don't have nothing against you. If you try really hard in school and if you get good grades and you go to college, I salute to you because I didn't. And at times I was like, ah. I was like, shit, man, I, I wish I had good grades, man. I wish I had all A's and B's and shit, but. Then as I got older, I started to realize that this shit is not that important. This shit is not important at all. I work with people who have straight A's and had straight, you know, good-ass GPA. This shit don't matter, bro. It's just numbers on a piece of paper. Don't let any of that shit define you. Don't let any of this shit, this outside world, define you, you know? Don't let any of it define you because it's not who you are. If you don't get good grades, it doesn't mean you're stupid. It doesn't mean you don't know anything. If you don't get good grades, it just means that you weren't born and you weren't made in order to comprehend the way that society wants you to comprehend these things, you know? Don't think you're weird because you don't follow the same rules and the same agendas that these people follow. Because if you don't follow this agenda of... I'm using school as an example. Because it's a really good example, in my opinion. She's she's whining because she wants to get in the room over there. One second. Like I was saying, if you are not good in school, there's nothing wrong with you. It just means that you can't learn the same way these people learn. You aren't interested in the same shit that these people are interested in. It makes you... Just because you're, you, you're like this doesn't mean you're fucking, you know weird or crazy i mean shit take it as a compliment because almost everybody that fucking does that is almost all the same so if you stand out that's a compliment in my opinion just school isn't for everybody you know why is my camera doing that i'm right here (laughs) you don't fit in in the world that there's nothing wrong with you take it as a gift you know take it as a blessing because you see the world in a different way than everybody else. And a lot of people nowadays, uh, they all follow the same cycle in life. And I'm currently trying to beat that cycle in life, which is I don't want to keep working, you know, 10 hours every single fucking day. I don't want to leave. Like, I literally see the sun come up and I see the sun go down. There ain't no way to live, man. I want to go out and, you know, I want to I want to ex- I want to go out and do shit. I want to explore the world, but that, that there's a process with all that. You know, it takes sacrifice and it takes time. You can't just go out and do it. I mean, you can, if you if you know, but you gotta you gotta play with the system in order to break the system. You know, you don't don't look down on yourself for being different. Don't look down on yourself for seeing the world in a different perspective than others. I think if you see the world in a different perspective than others, that you have a vision and you have a plan and you have a goal and you got dreams. Don't follow the same agenda that everybody else is following. Curve your own path, make your own path and follow your own ideals, your own beliefs, follow your own dreams, follow your visions because that will change the reality of your world and it will change the reality of others. Life is really a game, if you think about it. It's a never-ending game. I mean, it has an ending, but does it have an ending? You can choose to live forever, or you can choose to, you know, just come and go. And when I say this, I mean in terms of you don't have to be famous to live forever. Fame, in reality, is not a natural human experience being famous and having fame is not a natural human experience 
if you actually look at it, fame has a lot of ties with evil. There's a lot of evil shit the higher you get up in terms of fame. Yeah, it's it's amazing to be known by a lot of people, but the things that come with that is not worth it, if you ask me. I used to want to be sort of famous, I guess. I just wanted to be known, you know? And I still do want to be known, but I'm more so lenient in the factor of I want people to hear what I have to say. I don't care about me being known nowadays. I don't care about that anymore. I just want my message to be influenced and I want my message to get out there to anybody who needs it and anybody who needs help because that's all I want to do is I want to help people. I want to help the world and I want to help anybody in any chance that I can get. We over here having a conversation, lecturing the youth. But yeah, that's what I want. I used to just want to be this big time, like, star, you know? But I realized that I don't have to be a big time, like, star in order to get my point across. You know, I don't have to be so famous in order to to get the people to hear my message and to influence the mind of, of those who are lost and those who need healing. That's what I wanted. But I wanted it in a different spectrum. But as I get older, I realize that this fame shit and all this uh, all this attention, it brings more negative than it does good. There's a lot of negativity and evil tied into this fame shit than there is more good. And that's... I mean, that's normal because, like I said earlier, fame and, and all that isn't a natural human experience. It's a human experience that amplifies the ego. And ego equals evil, you know? That's why in Tibet, it is so, um, mind my ignorance if I'm wrong about this, but I heard this somewhere. In Tibet, they um, respect the man that has defeated his ego more than the man who has achieved fame and success. Because ego can take you yet so far, and ego is always influenced by things of evil. Ego will always be influenced by things of evil. Whether it's with yourself or whether it's with someone else, your ego only turns on when you are trying to defend yourself from unnecessary things. Maybe it's unnecessary, maybe it's not. It's still, it's still birthed from a negative emotion. That's how ego is. It's birthed from a negative emotion. That's why when you take things like psychedelics and things like that, it dismo it like it dismisses the ego. Like it completely removes the ego. It completely removes it for the duration. I'm not sure if it, you know, completely diminishes the ego because I haven't had a my bad job. I haven't had enough um, psychedelics to experience a complete ego loss, but I did experience a temporary ego loss, and I was connected with everything around me. I had love for everything and anything that was, whether it be a tree, whether it be a, a rock. Man, I was in love with everything. My mask was peeled away. You know, I say that mask because... When I ate the psychedelics, it was like this mask that I was always wearing. I actually referred this in one of my videos, titled How Psychedelics Showed Me Love, How Magic Mushrooms Showed Me Love. But yeah, I explained saying like, um, it's the best analogy I came up with too. I've been walking around all my life with a mask on my face. And as soon as I ate the mushrooms, that mask that I believed to be who I was peeled away and it showed who I really was in a way, you know? It showed me who I was and, and what I was and how to love and how to respect nature, how to respect others, how to love everything because in the end of everything, we are all one. Whether it's a little rock, whether it's a ant, whether it's a, a fly, a mosquito, we're all one because we're all connected to the universal consciousness. 
all of us, we're all living our own experience. Us humans have been so corrupted by our own egos that we think we are better than these things that are living with us. We're all living in the same world. You know, we're not better than any of them. We're not better than no, 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 no bird. We're not better than, we're all the same. We're just living a different experience, but experiencing the same experience. You get what I'm saying? Life and death, baby, it's a cycle, you know? I think when humans understand that we're all connected to each other in terms of, you know, look aside the skin color, look aside the language barriers. I think when humans realize that we will be on a different level in this planet in terms of consciousness. Because that was the fall of our ancient... Cause Believe it or not, you can look all this stuff up. We were far more intelligent than we were today. Years and years and, and thousands of years ago, humans were far more intelligent than what we are today. And that is a shame. That is sad and it's ridiculous because how did we go from being such a connected um, consciousness, a connected you know, group of individuals to just separating and hating each other and thinking that we're better than everyone else just because we do something different from everybody else. We're not better than anyone. None of us is better than an, than the next person. But I know why we separated. I mean, the, 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 the game of life, you know, the, as people call it, the matrix, that's what they do. They orchestrate us to stay. They, they, they make these things and they put these things in front of us to push ourselves further away from each other. And in turn, pushing us further away from what is God, which is what is self. That's what it does. It's, it's pushed us away from what we are. I mean, if you look at the architecture, if you look at the, the um, Renaissance art, I mean, look at these museums. Look at these um, churches, these these temples. Look at the architect in this. No human today can do what those people did back then. We should be more advanced than what we are now. Indeed, we should be far more advanced than what we are now. We got all this technology, but believe it or not, all this technology we got, bro, it ain't shit compared to what they had back then. It ain't shit compared to what they had back then. Because back then, I think, I believe that they knew how to use their minds, you know? They knew how to use their minds. They know how to... It, it goes really deep. I'm going to just leave it at that. They know how to use their minds. Us, no. Because we have so many things in front of us to dumb us down. You can only do so much. That's why you have to live and progress every single day of your life because you don't want to live the same repeating cycle every single day of your walking life. We are here to experience the human experience. That's what it is. We're here to experience this human experience. And as always, if the sun has just risen, I hope you have a good day and I hope you have a good experience. If the night has just fallen, I hope you have some good dreams and I hope you have some great sleep. It's been plenty. Peace, love, and energy.